Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to make these crochet sunflower coasters. These are really fun to make because you can make them in many different colors. For materials, we're going to start with a yellow and brown size 4 yarn, a 4.5 millimeter hook, a needle, and some scissors. The first step is to make a magic circle with a brown yarn. You just hold the yarn like so, cross your left hand, now use your right hand to take the yarn from your left, pull it through that loop, use your left hand to open that loop even more, like so. Take your hook, pull it through the smaller hoop, and then you're going to make a chain one. After that, you're going to flip your loop horizontally like this, and there you have your magic circle. Now for the first row, we're going to make six single crochets inside this magic circle. And to do a single crochet, you just yarn over, you have two loops, and then you yarn over again, and then you pull through both of the loops. So you're going to make six of these before you tighten the magic circle. Once you're done the six single crochet, you pull the tail like so until it's tight. To close this row, you're going to look for the first single crochet that you made, the first stitch, which is right over here, like so, and then you're going to make a slip stitch where you yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then pull through the loop that was on your hook. And then you're going to chain one. For the next row, you're going to put two single crochets in every single stitch. When you do two single crochets in one stitch, that's called an increase, and I will be repeating that term for the rest of the tutorial. So once you're done doing two single crochets in each stitch or an increase, then you will end up with 12 single crochets at the end of this row. Once you're done the 12, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did to close the row, which is to look for the first stitch, insert your hook, and you're going to do a slip stitch, like so, and then a chain one. For the next row, we're going to do one single crochet, and then on the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And then we're going to repeat that pattern where it's one single crochet, and then an increase on the next one. At the end of this row, you will have 18 single crochets altogether. So, once again, when you're done the row, you're going to close it off by doing a slip stitch, and then a chain one. Now we're on row 4, and we're going to do two single crochets, and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that pattern, which is two single crochets again, and then an increase. At the end of this row, you should have 24 stitches. Now row 5 is going to be a little bit different, we're going to start off with an increase, which is 2 single crochets on the very first stitch, and then we're going to do 3 single crochets. After doing the 3 single crochets, you're going to do an increase again, and then you're just going to repeat that pattern. You're going to end up with 3 single crochets at the very end, that's why it's slightly different, but this allows for the circle to be more smooth. At the end of the row, you should have 30 stitches overall. And then we're just going to do a slip stitch and then a chain one. So the next row will be the last row for brown yarn. We're going to start off by doing two single crochets and then an increase. Next, we're going to do four single crochets and then an increase. And then we're going to repeat the four single crochets and increase until you get to the end of the row. At the very end, you'll end up with two single crochets instead of four, and you're supposed to have 36 stitches overall. 
So as you can see, there are no sharp edges on this circle. It's pretty smooth and round, and that's because of the changes that we did throughout the rows. So as you can see, we're at the end, and we're going to end up with two single crochets after an increase. And then, like always, we're just going to do a slip stitch, and then a chain one, and then you're going to be cutting that yarn. Now we're moving on to our petals, which is the yellow yarn. To start off, we're going to do a slip knot. So you just cross your left hand, and then you pull the string through the loop, like so. Insert your hook, like so, on the very first stitch that we made. Take your yellow loop, put it through the crochet hook, and use the hook to pull the yellow loop into the first stitch, like so. Feel free to drop these two tails so that they don't bother you while you're crocheting. So the first step is to chain two, and then we're going to make two incomplete double crochets in the next stitch. And how you do that is you yarn over, you insert your hook into the next stitch like so, and then you're going to yarn over again, and now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two of them. That's your first incomplete double crochet. And then you're going to do the exact same thing where you yarn over, insert, yarn over again. Now you have four, and then you're going to insert through just two of them. And now you have three on your hook. Once you have three, you just yarn over and pull through all three. And then you're going to chain three. And then you'll see this bump at the end, at the very bottom, right here. And then you're just going to do a slip stitch there, like so. And then you're going to chain two. And then look for the next stitch and you're going to do a slip stitch there. And that is how you make your very first petal. We're just going to be repeating this pattern throughout the circle. So once again, you do a chain two, do two incomplete double crochets, so yarn over, insert on the next stitch, yarn over again, and then yarn over, pull through two of the loops, yarn over, insert, and then yarn over again, pull through two, now you have three, you're gonna yarn over, pull through all three, and then you're gonna chain three, look for the bump, at the very bottom and then do a slip stitch chain two and then slip stitch onto the next stitch now this sunflower should have 18 petals but we'll meet back after you make 17 and then we'll do the last one together so this is how it should look like i have two stitches left to do for the last petal and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen petals. Now for this last petal, it's just a little bit different. So we'll do it together. Chain two, two incomplete double crochets. We'll do the first one on this stitch. And then we'll do the second one actually on the next stitch, not on the same one, but the next one. Okay, and then you yarn over, pull through three, chain three. Look for the bump out, make a slip stitch, chain two, and then you're going to slip stitch that into the very first stitch that we did. So that it overlaps with the very first petal that we made. Now we're just going to chain one, and then we'll cut the yarn. And there you have it, this is our sunflower coaster. Now you do have some ends to weave, so just use your darning needle to weave in those ends. And this is what it should look like at the end. You can easily make this in like less than an hour. You can make so many different colors as well. If you happen to make one of these sunflower coasters, please tag me on Instagram at artisangc. 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.